Okay, <coughs> this is my replication attempt of energy from the vacuums experiment. First, I will do the switching manually. Not good. wondering what would happen if I actually use the relay to do the switching. Shorten that out. <coughs> Chop myself in the monostable trigger here. I'll do that a couple of times. Fifty watts. Fifty volts. So I am under the impression that the mathematically accurate switching time of the five 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 basically determines the exact voltage that we get. Pretty much constant value oh, 50 volts I will try to find a different capacitor now to see how different switching times will alter this ok now I've put 0 0.22 microfarads inside of there See how that performs. Fifty four volts. That's a higher value. capacitor. This one would equate to 1.3 milliseconds of switching time, or better say gate parts on time. The previous one would equate to 13.5 milliseconds, so obviously a slightly shorter one is better. factor is actually the minimal switching time of the relay. Usually they are quite high in the millisecond range. So let's see. Yeah, that's the lower voltage. Wow, C 
seems like 13 milliseconds was the better switching time. I mean, after all, I just used the scavenged piece of a computer power supply little coil here. Not at all uh, like energy from the vacuum recommended. Maybe that can be much more improved keeping the original setup. Well, I thought that was worth sharing.